Hi everyone, it's Rachel and today I'll be showing you how to make these adorable tea bag charms out of polymer clay. So let's get started. So firstly you'll just want to condition some translucent clay. Next use a roller to roll your clay out to a thickness of roughly 5mm. Now using a blade you'll want to cut out a rectangle and also trim off the two top corners to make the shape of the tea bag. Shade a gradient on your tea bag using chalk pastels and a brush. If you are wanting your tea bag to be just a regular tea, you would use brown pastels. And if you want your charm to be a green or peppermint tea, you would of course use green pastels. Another blending technique you could also use is called the Skinner Blend. There are some great tutorials on YouTube and this is also a good alternative if you don't have any chalk pastels. Now you can go ahead and add a face to your tea bag. So for the eyes, I'm using black micro marbles. For the mouth, I'm using a thin snake of black clay. And for the cheeks, I'm using two small pieces of light pink clay. Now add an eye pin to the top of your tea bag. To make the tag, cut a small square out of some translucent clay. Also shape a heart with some pink clay and attach it to the tag. Use a needle tool to create a hole in the corner of the tag and now it's time to bake both the tea bag and the tag. After baking, I'm securing the eye pin with some super glue and also adding a few coats of glaze. Attach the tag to the tea bag using some white cotton thread. Be sure to double knot each end so it is nice and secure and won't come loose. So this is just what my little tea bags look like when they're completely finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Here are a bunch of photos that you guys have sent in to me on Instagram. If you make something inspired by me or from one of my tutorials, don't forget to use the hashtag RachieH96 on Instagram so I can see your creation and you could be featured in one of my upcoming tutorials. And as you can probably tell, there are heaps and heaps of photos at the end of this tutorial because I haven't filmed one in about maybe five weeks. So that's why they're all in this video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I think that's everything. So, yep, bye.